remember when you're a teenager and your girlfriends and guy friends would ask you to have a DNM? Well, it was so easy when we were kids for some reason. But as we get older, we tend to shy away from being vulnerable and getting deep. I mean, any male I know would just about do anything to avoid those two words. What's that? You want to have a deep and meaningful? Oh, yes, but I just need to finish cleaning the bathrooms first. And uh, I think the cat needs its nails done all of a sudden. Well, there are some topics that deserve to be brought to light and discussed. It creates immediate empathy, support, and the ripple effect of those two things can be felt far and wide. And so this segment looks to do just that. Let's talk about the juggle, girls. The juggle is really real. How do you do it? The old saying, if you want something done, give it to a busy person. Agree or disagree? Agree. Agree? Tell us why. Well, I just know for myself and I have way too much time on my hands, nothing gets done. But when I've got everything back to back, I'm just like, okay, I need to get done this, get done this. And I go, oh, I've done so much today. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you? I have one of those incredible men in my life that does not fit that category. <laughs> I'm actually surrounded by incredible men who are totally killing it and happy to go deep and... I'm unbelievably supported by my now used to be 20 years partner who we've evolved into being now allies, lovers <laughs> and business partners. And that was part of, you know, I actually buried that relationship at the beginning of the year only to have it evolve into something completely different. So we've gone through a complete evolution. So what I would say is actually give it to a busy person, yes, maybe, or it's like he's on your team. So how much is too much? The expectations we place on ourselves and other women these days is incredible. Social media has not helped with this. Constant pressure to be perfect. Parent feeding their kids, nutrient, dense, organic, home-cooked food, being glass ceiling shattered leaders in the workplace, fitness influencers <laughs> on the weekend, volunteering for the PNC, running the best. Oh, my gosh, it goes on and on and on. How much is too much? Yeah, again, I, I feel like... Tapping into that piece that goes, what do I actually, what am I actually here for and what do I actually need to be saying yes to? Mm. And again, I'm giving ourselves permission to say, do I need to be those things? Is that actually for me or am I just following that because it's the, the proven strategy mm. and maybe our rules are different? Mm. We're all uniquely wired. And what do you think about saying no? It's okay, isn't it? Say no sometimes. I love you. Not right now. My dance card is full is my favourite saying when I get asked for some things and I don't dance that well. Uh, what about you? What do you think? I agree with See. what you've said as well. And saying no, no is one of the biggest things that I say a lot to people now is, no, it doesn't feel in alignment with me. And if it doesn't feel in alignment with me and it doesn't feel good within my body and I listen to, I tune, and as I said before, like I tune into my body to what says yes and what says no. And you get a full body reaction and you know that when something's triggered you and you get that like <gasps> moment, you know that it's not right for you or you need to go deeper into understanding why your body did what it did. How do we break this unrealistic expectation cycle, though? Do we just switch off social media? <gasps> no oh, Facebook? Yeah. Oh, this is where my jam. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things I do with epigenetic profiling is actually gives a unique profile of how we are wired. So hormonally we have these dominant hormones that develop during our life and it, do, and it shows up in how we grow, how our brain works, and, and it shows our unique genius. Mm. So when we learn how you, what our unique genius is, it validates us to be able to step back and say, that's actually not where my genius lies. This is where my genius lies. So it, it's incredible permission piece to actually be authentically ourselves. And particularly when our loved ones or the people around us know that about mm. ourselves, it's it's completely game-changing. I love that and it's so true and it's okay that we say no as long as we say it from a place of love and maybe give a little bit of an explanation sometimes but actually sometimes it's all okay, okay just to say no. What do you think Alexis? I agree. Yeah, coming from a really loving, kind, powerful place mm -hmm. and owning your truth, owning who you are and owning what it is that you truly deeply want and desire and Sometimes it may upset somebody when you say no, but it's, you know, you've got to look after you and your emotions and your feelings. Definitely. So, and turning social media off, what are our thoughts as we finish up? 
on What's airplane the thoughts? mode. Airplane mode. mode. It's fun. Yeah. Because <laughs> we can constantly look at it and compare ourselves. I know I do it and I'll go back today and see what everyone said and thought and then we give our power away, don't we? Correct. So sometimes it's okay to say, you know what, I had a go, did my best and that's okay. And we retain our power that way. These two ladies have been amazing. Please give a warm well. Thank you to Alexis Jane and Genevieve Sell. Thank you so much Thank for being you. on the show. Okay, ladies, it's time for a little bit of fun. Who's ready to take a little spin in my flower garden? There are some fabulous prizes up for grabs. Here's how it works. I'm going to pick an audience member to come down and take a spin of the wheel. And where the wheel lands will be the prize that they win. Who would be up for that? Now, who can I see in the crowd that's giving me lots of love? Who wants to be down here? <laughs> come on down. <laughs> you were jumping up and down and didn't think I'd pick you. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? It's Mia. Mia, nice to meet you. Say hi, Mia. Hi. <laughs> All right, Mia. Tell us, have you brought a friend with you today? Paige. Paige, is Paige keen to come up and play? Come on, give Paige a round of applause. <laughs> All right. So tell us about you both. Tell us a little bit. Um... Like where we met? Yeah, where you met, how old you are. Well, maybe not how old you are. No one wants to reveal that at any age, do they? <laughs> um, we Just met tell at us swimming. We met at swimming, okay. And you're both still in school? Yes. Yes, yes. and you're wagging today? We won't tell. Yeah. yeah. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. All right, so what are some fun things that you two get up to? Um, I do musical theatre. Oh, musical theatre. Yeah. So you are the future. I love it. And what about you, Paige? Um, I do like netball. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> so what are some goals? Tell us some goals for life. Um, otherwise going to the Olympics for swimming or even like on stage. Oh. Yay! Go you. What about you, Paige? Um, I don't really know. Can't top the Olympics. <laughs> You'll find it. Don't worry, you've got plenty of time. I still don't know what I want to do when I grow up, so it's all good. All right, are you ready to have a spin in my flower garden? Of course. Okay, give the wheel a big spin. Now, what number would you like to land on? One. One, the grand prize. Okay, give it a big spin. Let's all put energy into one. Woo! Oh. It's not a booby prize. You've also won a candle gift pack. Congratulations. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and thank you both for coming to play. <laughs> and we'll be back right after this. Are you loving the Girlfriend Hour so far? We hope you've been inspired by the wonderful women you've seen sharing their stories. Do you have an inspiring story of your own to share? We're looking for magic just like yours. Be featured in Feminescence magazine and start your own exciting media journey. Join many other fabulous women who've been profiled in Feminescence magazine. Unlock access to an international audience, propel your career and expand your network. Make today the day you back yourself. What are you waiting for? Visit feminescence.com.au to find out more.